Hey guys, John here from AccessoryGeeks.com. What I'm going to do today is show you how to root the Verizon Samsung Fascinate. Uh, we're going to go ahead and refer to this great website. Um, and this is all our information is obtained from AndroidCentral.com. Uh, they provided a really good um, in-depth uh, instructions on how to uh, root the Fascinate. So all the files you need to download are here. You need the 32-bit driver or 64, depending on what systems you're running. And you need to download and extract the attached um, file, which is the Samsung root zip. Uh, next is to extract the files to C drive fascinates. And then you're going to have to set your phone into um, you enable debugging. And then um, I think uh, stay awake when asleep or something like that. There you go. Stay awake. So you want your screen to look like that. To get there, you're going to have to press settings, application, development, enable debugging, and then restart your phone. So right here, we have the Samsung Fascinate. I'm going to power it back on. And I'm just picking up from this step right here of uh, restart your phone. So it says, unlock the phone, but do not just touch anything else. So while the phone boots up, I'm going to go to this next step. This next step says, run part one and only part one from the Fascinate root zip. Okay, so we're gonna go back to here. As you can see, part one. So let me go ahead and unlock the phone right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug in this uh, micro USB port. I'm sorry, I don't have my uh, tripod on me today, so it's going to be kind of sketchy. Okay. USB is connected. USB debugging connected. Great. So after that, I'm going to go refer to their step and run only part one. Let's see where we go. So testing for DIF is connected. Started successfully. Okay. So we're going to press any key. Balance your active flight device. This may take about two minutes. Okay. Give it a little time. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's go ahead and press the key and see where we go. When you get this, ADB connection will reset, restart ADB server on desktop, and re-log in. So, while that's happening, you'll see the press any key to continue. Go ahead and press any key. It'll ask you, have you waited a full two minutes, or two full minutes? So let's give it a little, a couple more seconds. Restart your phone now, press any key to continue. Okay. Phone is now restarting. Give it a couple seconds. Okay, so let's swipe the glass to unlock. And to find out the if we've unlocked the phone, what we're gonna run is a program called Titanium Backup. And that's only usable on rooted phones. So let me go ahead and hit search. Titanium backup. 
it's installed already. And at the top, as you can see, it says needs root. Sorry for the glare. We're going to hit open. And voila. Oh, sorry. That's better. Super user request. We uh, rooted the phone. So that's how you can tell if the phone is rooted when you get the super user request. Oh, process.com stopped unexpectedly. Force close. Sorry, I was waiting too long. Hit allow. Boom. Now you have a rooted Samsung Fascinates. Um, if you have any questions regarding this process, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll try to reply to them the best I can. Uh, if you like what you see, please subscribe to our channel. Um, so that's about it. This is John from AccessoryGeeks.com reminding you, you got it from a geek.